Hey, I'm Ryan Lagod. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagod. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or go to our website, RyanandCraig.com. You can watch all of our read alouds there. Or send us a message. Ooh, I have a message. Craig. I want to give a big shout out to Mrs. Schumacher and the students and staff at Abraham Lincoln Elementary in Monroe, Wisconsin for sending us today's book. Thanks so much, guys. We can't wait to read it because today's book is... <gasps> A Perfectly Perfectly Messed Up Story by Patrick McDonnell. Cool accent. Let's get started. A Perfectly Perfectly Messed Up Story by Patrick McDonnell. This book belongs to me. This is Louie's story. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along. Tra la 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 la. He sang. For in his heart, Louie knew everything was just... Hey! Hold on! What's that? Sniff, sniff. Someone got jelly on the book, right? Was that you? Oh, no, it wasn't me. I had eggs for breakfast. Well, it wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't me. Well, yeah, but who else could it be? So just tell the truth. Craig, I didn't spill jelly. Okay. You know, it feels good to tell the truth. I did not spill jelly is my truth. Okay. What? Why is that funny? No, it's not. It's not funny. <sighs> truth always comes out. Lick, lick. A jelly stain. How did that get there? This isn't right. Who would eat a jelly sandwich while reading my book? Plop. Jelly and peanut butter. Arrgh, the chunky kind. Okay, Ryan, that's that's enough. I don't, yeah, I know. That's weird, right? Where did your peanut butter and jelly sandwich go? Craig, I did not spill that. <laughs> okay. Ryan, there's only two of us. It's not me. I know that. So it had to have been you. Just I know it's not me. Why don't you believe me? Because there, it, who else is putting it on the book? I don't know. Craig. It's not. Okay. Truth always finds a way out. Are you quoting Jurassic Park to me? No. Truth finds a way. That's definitely Jurassic Park. It's Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. Welcome to Truth Park! Hey! 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 Somebody's fingerprints are all over this! Oh no! What next? Orange juice? Ah! My story is getting all messed up! How are you doing this? I'm not doing it. Where's the orange juice? I don't have any. I have no peanut butter. I have no jelly. I have no orange juice. And I have no fingerprints. You know what's worse than the fact that you're getting this book all messed up is the deception, Ryan. Is the lies. And you know what? You think I can't handle it? But I can handle the truth. Nope. That is you quoting a few good men. (laughs) Okay. Okay, all right. Let's just keep reading and keep lies. A funnel, a a cyclone of lies somewhere over the rainbow. We need to show some respect here. Books are important. They teach us stuff and they inspire us. Now, can I please get on with my story? Thank you. Okay, from the top. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along. Tra la 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 la. La. You have got to be kidding. This is awful. Quick, get a paper towel. Rub, rub, rub. Careful, careful. Ah! This is the worst thing ever. What am I going to do? Okay, I see what you did there. I didn't do anything. Oh, I said over the rainbow, and you were like, this will be funny. I'll take a bunch of colorful crayons and try and make a rainbow, but you got it all messed up, and then you smeared it with a paper towel. Craig, I did not do this. Maybe the book did it. (laughs) Maybe the book did it. Listen to yourself, Ryan. Listen to how much you're having to do to cover your own tracks when you just should tell the truth, okay? No more lies. No more deception. No more tomfoolery, no more ballyhoo. Okay, now you're just quoting the therapist from Goodwill Hunting. I've never even seen that movie. It's the first. Ye- what? 
Once upon a time. Stop! Forget it! My story is ruined! It's all over! I'm just in a messy old book that will end up in some garage sale! A book no one will ever want, read, or love! I give up! Go on without me! This is Louis's story. Who cares? Once upon a time, little Louis went skipping merrily along. Tra la 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 la! He sang. Oh, life was so much simpler back then. For in his heart, Louis knew everything was just. What? Just what? Fine. Wow! Everything is fine! I'm still here, you're still reading, and it is a pretty good story. Messes and all. So come on, let's finish this. This is Louie's story. I love it, and nothing is going to stop me. The end. See, Craig, it's all cleaned up. Well, I've got to hand it to you. You cleaned up the mess you made. And that's step one. When you're trying to get forgiveness, making amends is the first step. And then the next step is, Ryan? You know, Ryan, with great I, power comes great responsibility. No, that, that is a Spider-Man quote, and I'm not sure how that applies. Well, Spider-Man or not, I think you owe me an apology. I'm sorry that you thought I did things to this book when I didn't. I'll take it. You're forgiven, pal. Feels good, doesn't it? Told you. Don't you feel lighter? No! A perfectly messed up story! By Patrick McDonnell.